At first glance, the mimic poison frog looks harmless. It doesn't produce venom glands, it doesn't synthesize toxins in its body, and it isn't born poisonous. Yet in the wild, this tiny amphibian can be dangerously toxic. The secret lies not in what it makes, but in what it eats. Mimic poison frogs gain their toxicity from their diet. In tropical rainforests, they feed on specific ants, mites, and small arthropods that contain powerful chemical compounds. These compounds are originally produced by plants or microorganisms, then passed up the food chain. When the frog eats these insects, the toxins are absorbed through its digestive system and transported into specialized skin glands. Instead of breaking the chemicals down, the frog stores them unchanged. Over time, these toxins accumulate, turning the frog's skin into a chemical shield. One of the most important toxin groups involved is called alkaloids. These compounds interfere with nerve and muscle function in predators. Even tiny amounts can cause paralysis, confusion, or severe illness, making the frog extremely dangerous to eat. What makes this even more fascinating is that poison frogs raised in captivity are completely harmless. Without access to toxic insects, their bodies never receive the chemical ingredients needed to become poisonous. The same species can be deadly in the wild and safe in a controlled environment. The mimic poison frog takes this strategy even further. It visually imitates other highly toxic frog species, copying their bright colors and patterns. Predators that have learned to avoid truly poisonous frogs also avoid the mimic, even if its toxin levels are lower. This combination of dietary toxicity and visual mimicry creates a powerful survival system. The frog doesn't need to fight or flee. Its appearance sends a warning, and its skin delivers a chemical backup if that warning is ignored. Evolution didn't teach the mimic poison frog to manufacture poison. Instead, it taught it how to borrow chemistry from its environment and turn food into protection. The frog survives not by making toxins, but by collecting them, one bite at a time. Like and subscribe for more curious science videos every day.